Awesome. So right now we have the these blue lights here and then the, the fog lights here. Yep. Those are operated below the cigarette lighter. Yep. The two little switch panel, you just flip the switches right here. Just below the cigarette lighter. Got it. And they light up, you know, let you know they're on. You can see in there if you want to yep. put it in there. Those two you know, switches. Those two, and then you go up front here and you got the, the lights on display here. Awesome. You get the LED set up with the... Do you know which switch is which? The red one is... The red is... one is the fog lights. Got it. Amber is the blue ones. Got That's it. That's the colors that come. And, uh, but uh, at least you'll know, they're, they'll, you'll know they're on because the lights up. Right. The other thing is uh, the line locks the nitro switch here. Put yep. that on. The little red light comes on. And then you push this. This locks the brakes so you can do the burnout. Yeah, but you got to first push the brake to engage the, all the brakes. Got it. And then what this does is the solenoid that actually keeps the fluid in the front brakes only. Got it. And then when you release the brake and let out the clutch, you can do the burnout. Some guys like that stuff. Sure. Um, heater controls. The middle one is a dummy. Right. So now the, all, all three of them up for AC. This turns it all on. Um, you know, turns on the fan, the cooling fan, and then the AC turns on. Um, heater, this one all the way down for heat okay and then this one is the uh controls for if you want it to blow out of the defroster ducts right or right now it's right now it's set up to blow center of the dash and both uh left and right blow on you the air conditioning or heat whichever you prefer headlight switch same as any mustang got it uh tilt steering right here like a general motors right set it where he wants you know you got the horn button right put that on there uh, high beams Oh, high beams on the floor. There's a the button. Yeah, just like the old cars. Cool. It still has the original um, foot pump down there too. It's kind of located. We got speakers in here because the dash doesn't uh, allow for have it. The speakers. We put speakers here. Kind of. If you have to wash the windows, you can. There's a pump. We got a reservoir over there. You put and you pump it. And it's actually an actual pump. Got it. To pump the uh, squirters on the windshield. Um, the Bluetooth. The radio has Bluetooth. Yep. And I also have the microphone up here on the sun visor. Got it. It's right here. You know, you can. Use that to speak if needed. Okay. Uh, rear view mirror is the same as any. It's got day and night little uh, switch on it. You can switch that. Awesome. Um, you know, glove box operational here. Right. We've got the, the little mini laptop that you can plug into the computer, which... So where is the OBD2? It doesn't have one. What it does is it's a uh, fast system. Okay. It's a self-learning computer. Got it. But what it does, you pull this out to access the computer right here, and there's a little plug right here, and all you do is you take the... Uh, little laptop for the wires yep and then you can um you know plug it in and it tells you status of the vehicle has codes and everything else you know set up which it's already set up for and you just plug it in and you know and it turns on like so yep. you got the screen here you got the live data it tells you everything rpms all the coolant temperature um and it radios on and then uh, advanced, you go into different settings, you know, engine parameters like this, it tells you 428 engine, you know, the idle set at 750, rev limit, you know, has all the safeties. Okay. You know, and then fuel system, injector specs, all that's been, you know, dialed in, fan control, which we have it turns on at 180, turns off at 175. Cool. You know, so basically, this is like your laptop. Got they it. have another option in here. I'm not sure. I haven't gone that far. Got it. Maybe it goes in and reprograms it. But then diagnostics, you can check for codes. There's no codes. Okay. You know, clear them or whatever after you repair the problem. Right. You know, just stuff like that. So. And again, this car is going to show up as a 67. Seven. Mm -hmm. uh, so there is no need for smogging it, correct? No. Right. Okay. Unless Biden changes something. Right. <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. You mean Miss Harris? Yeah, well, I'm Harris. thinking six months. But yeah. we'll, we'll go. That's another subject. Right. I don't know, man. It's one of those things that we'll just see where it goes. Yeah. Uh, and then as far as seat belts go, it's just the lap belts, and then you would be able to attach the, the two harnesses. Yeah, it has this. And then um, what you have here is a little twist knob. It has uh, four places. It has. Yep. Just, yeah, and the two here and then over the shoulders. Okay. And then we have rear seat belts. They're stock. As right. the Mustang came. Right. You can see back there if you need to. Yep. And, um, you know. Fantastic. Those are in there. Um, you know, it's it's set at, it's not like an adjustable height, so if you add weight to it, not sure if it's going to lower it more, but there are stiff springs back okay. here. Okay, yep. They're adjustable if need be. Golf clubs. What's that? Golf clubs will that... sag the car. Okay. No, yeah, I'm just yeah. kidding. Okay, no, I just... <laughs> and, oh, to uh, release the, the trunk lid. Yeah. 
pull up like that. Awesome. Clicks open. You have access to the That is the trunk um, lid. I put the tender right here, the battery tender, because this gets awesome, mounted. Awesome, brother. Gets mounted in awesome. The, the actual plug is here. Yep. So you can close the trunk need be, but or leave it open. That kind of tells you that it's here so you don't uh, sure. drive off like we we're talking about. Sure. But plug it in. I also, uh, this was included. I just zip tied it on here. Right, the banana clips. If you need, because it is only charging the main battery. This okay. This is just for the LEDs. Okay. So need be, just take this and, you know, clip this off and just use this and clip this onto the battery directly. Correct. Yep. And then you can charge this battery. If need be, you know, if you feel this one's been charged and somebody wants to do something else, you know, awesome. just tend the other one. Or, you know, uh, when starting the car, it yep. charges the ba both batteries. Right. When you shut off the car, it separates them. There's a dual battery solenoid like on a uh, recreational vehicle. Okay, is that is that's, that a very, oh, I see it. Yes. That's what does the, the separation of the batteries. Okay, cool. And then uh, the controls for the LEDs, if you go to say a car show or at home, show it off, two switches are right here. Okay. And the front one, forward, forward is on, backwards off. So that does all the interior and the engine bay at nighttime. Awesome. And then this one is the lower ones. There's a set of four of them down below. It lights up the bottom of the car. Got it. So if I get a, a pick yep. of that. Yep. So and it has interior, so it lights up interior. the dash. At nighttime, it looks really nice. Nice. And, uh, you know, it has a high amp alternator and the air conditioning is more modern. Got right. fuel pressure regulator there. I mean, the computer will tell you what it is because there's actual monitor in the trunk area okay. below with the fuel pump and everything. Right. It's an external fuel pump, so if there's ever any problem, it shouldn't be, but it's easier to access rather than dropping a tank or opening a tank. And sure. Just by chance, what goes in here? Okay, this is uh, antifreeze. Antifreeze. Yeah, and the reason why is because you put over here, but this is where the original um, uh, windshield washer fluid would go. Okay. And then, yeah, the green, green, blue. Got it. Green, blue. <laughs> awesome. And so, then so you would not be filling from the, the uh, radiator cap, correct? No, you don't have to. Yeah. Um, fill from here, but if you ha if you don't have any leaks, it shouldn't be going anywhere anyway. Right. But on a, a maintenance check, I usually check these because the gaskets sometimes, they don't make rubber like they used to. Correct. Right. So. Okay. And, that, and know, then, uh, um, uh, I know I was going to ask something in regards to fuel. Uh, uh, just 91 octane. 91. Run. And running av gas or 110? I would not recommend it. Okay, so stay on 91 only. Yeah, because this, this engine was built, I believe, 10 and a half to 1 or 10 to 1. Okay. Or nine. It's not up there. You know, If you went 12 and a half, then I'd say yes, but right. this was not built that way. I'd, awesome. Eh, in all honesty, a Mustang, they're so light, the more horsepower you go, they just spin out more. Got it. <laughs> I'm just being honest. I mean, they're sure. great cars, but... Sure. They have so much power going out of the motors that there's no weight in the back. Right. So obviously the driving style is a lot different. It's right. Fun. It's fun because you can drift. Right. But, uh, you know. And then uh, as far as the AC, regular R34? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, that 134. Um, he's already charged it, tested it, comes out nice and cold. So Anything that is of interest or that needs to be a process for fueling it? It's uh, just, just a regular gas added, cap. I just uh, added a fuel right here. Yep. With the filler pipe goes down to the original location on the tank. You just push the little button here for right. it's open. And you take the cap. And, you know, obviously the normal thing, like on the new car, so I kind of set it there softly. Sure. And then you just put it right there. Got it. And it's, I believe, a 16-gallon tank, so. Okay. You know. It's a sizable enough tank. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, it'll tell you when it's empty, so. <laughs> sure. And sure. This is the looks, obviously. Yeah, the nitrous is yeah. not plumb. That is just. You just run the, run, the pipe just runs under the seat there, and that's and, it. Uh, now nitrous is incredible stuff. Sure is. I've watched it run one time. And it's, 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 uh, it's hard on a motor, but sure is. Anyway, but yeah, other than that, you know the disc brakes and everything there. Um, they're Will Woods. Cool. Parts are available. And we are with just a four-speed, correct? Yeah. Okay, yeah. and uh, and the windows are not power, or they are power. They are not power. Okay, no power on the windows. Old fashioned crank down, you know. Okay. Crank it down. So. Awesome. Solid. Yeah. Okay. And then the vent windows, of course, you want to put a little air inside, but it depends. Kind of a look of the past. Yep. So. All right. Why don't we button it up and then take it a little drive and put her through her paces. All right. Awesome. Set that down. 
get everything set up.